I guess I've always accepted that, hey, it's an animal, not a machine. And boy, they keep you going every day, no matter what temperature, no matter what is the good days, the bad days. Um, it's it's a good a good sport to keep you going, that's for sure. <laughs> look into more of a, rather than they're just their athleticism, you got to look into if they have what it takes mentally. Because mentally, just like a human, marathon runners have to be tough. <laughs> I'm often asked how I've got on into dog sledding and to tell you the truth it's it's nothing to do with family it's nothing to do with watching movies it was just something that I thought was very interesting interesting in the point of watching an animal do what it really enjoys to do um, and to tell you the truth raising a Raising a puppy and to turn them into an athlete to be able to do a 250 mile race or really even just a 30 mile race to see them actually finish and do well is just like watching your kids do well in their own sports. So ever since I was probably about 12 years old, I, I expected to have a big kennel of dogs when I was older and I guess it's true now. Um, but yes, it's, it's something that I can't really specifically say who got me into the sport. Uh, but certainly the racing aspect is just a, a fun way of proving that your dogs have what it takes. Uh, my name is Ashley Simpson Patterson. My husband and I operate the kennel of Lone Wolf Kennel here in Shirley. Ready, hop! Um, and believe it or not, the first race that I actually did, I can remember every dog's name. The first race I did was the Can-Am Crown 30, 30 mile race. Um, and the point of the legs start getting jittery, you start anticipating what's about to happen, and then you get on the trail and it's everything's relaxed. And that's what I always find interesting about racing, and everything's very you know, overwhelming in the beginning, just like the dogs feed on that. Um, and then you get out there in the woods where there's nobody but you and the dogs. fondest memories is definitely the first time I did the 250 in Fort Kent. When I was 18 I was able to do that 250 and I guess that's really when I got addicted to the racing aspect because you're just out there in the middle of nowhere and you depend on the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> 